If you're wondering like, oh, snap, Kel, did you practice that in the moment? Did you know you were going to do that? Hello, my name is Kel Bailey, and if this is your first time here, I need you to hit that like button and subscribe to my channel. Today, I'm going to be doing a quick breakdown of my viral King of Glory video that I posted on Instagram a few months back. Sheesh. Now, here's the thing. I haven't done a lot of chord breakdowns on this channel, and that's something that I want to do more of. And in the coming months, you're going to be seeing a lot more content of me breaking down my chords and stuff like that, because I believe that's like the number one question that people ask me. Hey, can you do a breakdown of this? Or, hey, I really, really want to learn from you. So I'm going to be sharing that here on YouTube and also my Patreon as well. If you want to join my Patreon, I share more content like this over there. So feel free to join my Patreon, that link is below. But let's get into the video. The glory. Hey, church, sing it. that's the video right there king of glory um that was the end of the song and i was just thinking how can i really create a lot of tension and how can i kind of do somewhat of a reharm to what um the singer shawnette is doing and i think it turned out uh good clearly you guys responded to it pretty well um again that video is on my instagram but I'm going to do a quick breakdown of what I'm doing. And one of the reasons I want to do this as well is because a lot of you guys are trying to do a breakdown of what I did. You're trying your best, but it's still kind of wrong. So I just kind of want to bring some clarity to what I'm doing. And here's another secret that I'll let you in on that many of you may not know. I really don't know a lot of theory um, in terms of if you ask me why I played this chord. I'm playing off a of feeling. So there's a lot of chords within my vocabulary that I'm able to pull out in unique moments. What you saw in that video was not playing. Like we probably went over that song in soundcheck. Once I didn't play that stuff, that was something that happened spontaneously in the moment. If you're wondering like, oh, snap, Kel, did you practice that in the moment? Did you know you were going to do that? No, these are moments that are created when the Holy Spirit takes its place. Um, and what you practice kind of comes out in those unique moments. So that's pretty much what I did in that moment. Now, it's not exactly down to the T what I did, but overall, big picture, that's basically what I did. Um, it's kind of hard to really remember what I did in those moments. Again, those moments are not planned. But one of the things I'll share with you when I'm um, in moments like that, I'm staying true to that melody on top. So you'll hear me still courting out the king of glory, With all the chords and everything that I'm doing, we're still keeping that melody there. And we're just creating a lot of tension using this C sharp and the E flat, um, rolling into the E flat a lot, keeping this melody up top. So. Again, keeping that melody there really kind of helps the singer stay on course. And though I'm doing a lot of tension chords. An 
and even though I'm doing a lot of chords with a lot of tension in there, it's not getting in the way of the singer because I'm keeping that melody on top. So really, I don't want to say I can go anywhere in moments like that, but as long as you keep that melody, you can kind of get real crazy with it, you know? That's really where musical IQ comes in at as well, because you can have all of these chords in your vocabulary, but if your placement is wrong, if the way you're falling into chords is wrong, it doesn't matter if I show you all of these things. Another thing that I will leave you with is just because you have these chords in your vocabulary, you have to know when to pull it out. You have to know when to just keep the song regular and keep it basic, and you have to know when to, all right, this is my time to pull out some tricks that I've been working on, if that makes sense. So here's what I'm gonna do for you guys. I'm gonna make this MIDI and the loop that I just played available for you guys to get. Now, the only caveat to that is you're gonna have to join my Patreon. Now you can join my Patreon for free, but if you wanna get access to the loop and the MIDI file, you're gonna have to join under a paid membership. So click that link below. Um, and thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you learned something. Um, if you learned something new, please comment down below. I would love to engage with you guys and have a conversation. That's all we have for today. We out.